On September 24, 2012, eight people climbed into 80-foot trees to block construction of the Keystone XL pipeline, which will carry poisonous tar sands from Alberta, Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. The Tar Sands Blockade is a coalition of local landowners and environmental justice organizers using nonviolent direct action to physically stop the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Clearing crews have endangered lives by destroying land dangerously close to safety lines, but the occupation is holding and the tree village is still standing. I'm from North Texas. And I'm here because the extraction of tar sands is destroying our planet. And I don't want to spend the rest of my life having to clean up the mess that previous generations decided to put in place for us. The extraction of this type of fuel is much worse than any other type that we've seen. The only method that we can find now to actually do anything about it is nonviolent direct action. The standoff has lasted for over 10 days, while other acts of civil disobedience had delayed construction at several other sites across Texas. In the past 10 days, people have locked themselves to equipment, erected monopods, and blocked the path of heavy machinery with their bodies. The police have responded with chemical weapons and torture tactics at the direct request of the TransCanada Corporation. Um, I feel obligated uh, ethically to be here. I feel like I need to do everything I can to stop the climate change and stop the environmental destruction in general that uh, our society creates constantly and has created constantly uh, since its inception. We need to transform society so that it's actually sustainable, undo all forms of oppression against um, ecological, systems as well as social systems that oppress individuals um, and groups in our society and I feel like this is tied up in basically all of those things. It's, I'm here for justice. I'm here because I feel morally obligated to do everything I can to stop the omnicidal machine that uh, is our system. Seeing the pipeline as a major component of increasing tar sands production and extraction. I want to see whatever it takes to get this pipeline stopped for good. Another key facet of this campaign, and another one of the reasons I'm here, is to inspire more folks to take this kind of direct action and to sort of escalate in terms of what tactics we find acceptable and to you know, strengthen the movement and inspire more folks to come out here and do the same. Our environment is what sustains all life. What we have been doing, we have been just going in for greed, creating so much destruction, so much death and suffering to all forms of life on this planet by trying to get tar sands. It is not sustainable in any sense. We cannot live like this. We cannot have, like, our children, our children's children, they will not be able to survive on a planet if our generation and generations before us are stealing it from us and just... just tossing it away like yesterday's trash. Protect the environment. It's all we have. Over a dozen people have been arrested so far trying to stop the destruction of people's homes and protect the land that they love, while this company continues to intimidate communities that resist eminent domain for private profit. The Tar Sands Blockade is dedicated to stopping the Keystone XL pipeline by any means necessary through nonviolent direct action and the support of people like you. Together, we can stop this tar sands pipeline once and for all.